Hi Taurus, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Hope you guys are really well. So today is your sixth month from July through to December 2016 love forecast. To quickly let you know how I do the readings, I pull, uh, shuffle the cards, and I've decided to shuffle the cards off screen now because it takes up less time. I can just get straight into the reading and videos are taking ages to upload at the moment and just to the general ones because the general ones are usually longer than the um the personal ones i do or well to be more specific i record all the youtube stuff from a camera whereas all my personal readings are done uh via my laptop so it's quicker to upload personal readings than it is to upload the generals so i need to cut these down to like half an hour in order that they can go on to back onto the computer transfer the files, get them rendered, and then cut them up, edit them, and send them off, <laughs> which can be a lengthy process, which is why I've been uploading like two a day, because it does take time. But anyway, here we go. Uh, so shuffle the cards of screen. I start off with a nine card spread, but I don't like to start with the nine card and then add. This spread is actually 18 cards uh, that I devised myself. So I start with nine cards. I was finding that when I started with nine cards and I would just talk about the nine cards and add more cards, it would just confuse everything. So it's best just to come to you straight off the bat with the 18 cards. I start off with nine cards, shuffle, meditate, cut the deck, put it back together, then lay down the nine. Then I will add a clarifier for each clarifier or just an add card for each of those nine cards just to open up the reading, just to see who else is involved, what's going on. The other thing that I do is I have now formulated two to three stories that I can see running through your love life. And it's going on for all of the signs that I'm reading for. Just opens up the reading a little bit more. And also, I don't want to just stick with the one story because I realise that many stories can affect many people so it just gives more people a chance to connect with what I feel is going on for them. So let's make a start on your reading. Uh, the first story that I can see is really interesting. I feel for you guys this year, some of you, you're going to have a lot of options, Taurus, in the love department because I've already seen three, three kings show up in your reading, three of them. But I'm not sure whether this is a great situation. I think there's going to be three to four options for you in love this year, uh, for the rest of the year, Taurus, especially if you're single. We've got a King of Cups, King of Wands, and a King of Pentacles. Now, these people I'm seeing, I'm seeing one water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, one, um, one fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and one earth sign. Now, you're Taurus, so this could easily be you. Okay, um, and I know that the King of Pentacles uh, in the tarot can represent a Taurus individual, so whether you're male or female, that could be you. It could either be that you're dealing with a love triangle okay and these two men might know about each other because they seem to be having a conversation here king of cups and the king of wands when you get tarot cards that interact like that these are people that are actually talking about something here if the king of pentacles is you whether you're male or female because a king of pentacles can represent a male or female especially in a general reading uh, I feel that it's a love triangle because we've got the three of swords that shows next door to that king of pentacles card But I don't feel that it goes well. I've got to be honest. Uh, I do feel... Well, no. I mean, look. I feel that it could be somebody that you need to choose between. Because we also have the world card that shows up next. Alongside the Queen of Swords. Now, when you get the world card, it means reaching a deep understanding on a situation. It means the ending of a cycle. It means learning a lesson. You've been through a certain journey in something. And you've come to a point where you've learned something about that particular journey or about that particular situation, Taurus. And with this Queen of Swords, she's the lady who gets to the heart of the matter. So she, and it's interesting that she comes after the world card because the world is directly be, uh, behind her head. And I feel that, Taurus, that uh, this is something that you've learned and now you're going to be applying that in terms of your life. So whatever it is that you've learned, whatever conclusion you come to over this love triangle, I do believe that you choose someone. If 
The King of Cups, the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles are three men or three women that enter your life in the month of, uh, between the months of July and December. I don't feel that you go for this King of Cups or King of Wands. I feel you would probably go for the King of Pentacles. And I only say this because I see the Queen of Swords sword directly pointing up towards the King of Pentacles. It's just to say my thinking is on this person. I feel for some of you guys, you'll be thinking about one of these people more than the other. The other two might be options. And also with the Three of Swords, I feel that they're affecting you greatly. There are three ideas that are affecting you greatly. Because if you look at the Three of Swords, it's not just about heartbreak. It can also be about ideas that are affecting you emotionally. Because the swords are representative of thoughts, ideas, and the heart is re representative of our emotions. So I feel that there are three things, three people, two to three people, three ideas, three thoughts, three different thoughts, three different ideas that might be affecting you greatly around these two to three men over the next six months. You've got plenty of options going on here, trust me. Plenty of options. But I also feel, for some reason, because the Queen of Swords is all about using your self-awareness in order to cut through an issue. So it's about looking at something in the true light of what it is. So how does it stand with you? What is the reality of it? You know, you might have these options of different people coming in, but who is the most serious of them? Who's the one that you can see going forward with? And I feel that you do see it. Because you're faced towards the Page of Cups. So you, what you're beckoning in is a new relationship. Because when you get the Page of Cups, it can be a new relationship because it's immature energy. It's immature energy and it's also based on emotions and it's also based on messages. You might be sending a message or inviting a message in. But I feel that there's something that you need to overcome here as well. And that is, you need to confront with the Six of Wands somebody who's being deceptive with the Seven of Swords. Can you see those two cards together? When you do tarot, it's important also, as I always say, to look at the key cards. If the Six of Wands means to confront, and it does at the best of times, as well as overcoming victory success, it also means you're not afraid to go out there and confront something. Because really, at the heart of this matter, the struggle is based in some form of fear a lot of the time, and you need to overcome that in order to move forward. So it's almost like confronting something that you hadn't confronted before. And if the Seven of Swords is deception, you might be confronting a deceiver before you can move on. The deceiver, I would think, potentially could be or, or confronting the deception. So looking at it for what it is, or going for that person and saying, you know what, I don't know whether you're that interested really or whether you're just playing me. Because I feel that for some of you guys, especially if you're single or you're just dating or, you know, you're just having a good time, I do feel that options come in. But I do feel if it's three people, two of them will not be right for you. And they might even be friends because the King of Cups and the King of Wands are having a conversation. And when you see two people that are having a conversation, sometimes these people can be friends. That I don't see any type of antagonistic problem with this. I don't see any antagonism between these two characters. I really don't. I don't. I mean, this person here, the King of Wands, could be advising the King of Cups to go for it. Because if you look at the keywords of the King of Cups and the King of Wands, well, the King of Cups keyword would be understanding. And the King of Wands keyword would be confidence, ambitiousness, uh, ambitious, ambitious, ambition, go-getter. And they're kings, so they're at the top of their game, they're at the top of their own understanding. So whenever you get a King of Wands or a King of Cups or a King of Pentacles, there is real certainty there. But because the King of Cups and the King of Wands seem to be facing each other, it seems to be a conversation that they're having about this situation. And I feel that there might be some form of... I'm not saying there's out-and-out out deception involved in this, but I just get the sense that 
there are a couple of people who will be around you in terms of a relationship between Dece uh, July 2016 and December 2016 that will not be as committed as somebody else. And I feel that you detect that. And I feel that that's why we have the world. Because this can also be a card about lessons learned, but it can also be a card about group activity. So many people involved. Because the world card is number 21 in the Major Arcana. There are 22 cards in the Major Arcana, but because the full starts off as being zero, that's what makes it the 22. But this is actually card 21. And when you put two and one together, you come up with a number three. And number three is always mean three people or more than three people. And we actually have three people showing here. And we've got a three of swords. So there's definitely something to do with more than one person involved in a situation in terms of your love life between July and December 2016, especially if you're single or you're just dating. There is something to do with three fellas, three women, three people. And there are three ideas around this. Three different ideas that might be affecting, affecting you, Taurus, quite emotionally. And I feel that you, you come to a level of understanding with this world card on exactly what this situation is. And for some reason, you seem to turn your back on it because you may have already made your decision on who you want to go for. When you get a Queen of Swords in the world, they've both got women on them. And they're both women that come to a sense of uh, awareness about a situation. So the world ends situations, it ends journeys, but that's only through the lessons that we've learned. And it's the same thing in a way for the Queen of Swords, because the Queen of Swords has been through many things, which is why she's so astute, which is why she's such a clear thinker, which is why she never takes anything at face value. She has to kind of get to the heart of a matter, and I feel that it could be as well with some of you guys, if you're going through this multiple relationship shit through the summer, I do feel that this six of wands means success because maybe you've done some snooping around, you've found something out. Maybe you've needed to investigate these for two to three people a little bit more and what you've found out has led you to a very good conclusion. It could be with the six of pentacles that you make your choice because the six of pentacles can often be a card where we make a choice and this is you guys again on this card because it's pentacles your taurus so it's where we choose to give attention to one person and not the other and i feel that that's what you decide to do and it creates real joy because you've had a lot of victory and success through using a good strategy and through this new relationship that starts up between you and one of these two to three people, there's the potential for growth. So it's a very interesting reading, the first part of this reading, Taurus. Let's just quickly reiterate this again. The first story, and as I say, it's three stories, so get it straight, please, because I keep getting people coming back to me and saying, but you said marriage, now divorce, it's like three stories. What I want people to do is when that, whether you come for a personal tarot reading or whether you just go onto YouTube, the beauty of having a tarot reading is not only to give you advice and to help you with the direction, it's also a really good thing when you have your reading, personal or otherwise. If it's advice that you're coming for, i.e. do I start up a new business, i.e. how do you think this is going to go, this, that and the other, it's good to take the advice on board but just let things evolve organically. Don't go looking for every single sign here, there and everywhere because you will stunt the flow of that reading coming through. Because everywhere you're looking for these signs, and I don't want you to do that. I want you to have your reading, whether it's personal or general, and then go on about your life. If it's about a particular person you come to me, especially if it's a personal reading, Taurus, you come to me about a particular person, I give you my views on what I think that person is, but you've already got your intuition as well, and it seems to tally up with the reading. You do what is best for you. Okay? But the tarot isn't about second-guessing yourself. The tarot is a guidance tool. 
It's there to give you guidance on matters that might be concerning you. But in no way, shape or form, ever take a reading, whether it's general or personal, and completely let it rule your day. You go on about your day as normal. And I'm telling you, when things start to show up with that tarot reading, you're like shit. Because you just let the energies evolve. So what I'm really trying to say here with this reading is that these things are very, very interesting that are coming in. But I want you to know that when I say it's three stories, it's three stories. And whatever applies to you, applies to you. Okay? Just because I might say it'll be marriage in one section of the reading, and then I'm looking at another and say some of you might be getting divorced, or some of you might this or might that. It doesn't mean that if you're happily married, you're going to get divorced. It's all to do with how your relationship is. Okay? So you just live your life. That's the whole point of the tarot. The tarot isn't there to restrict you or hold you back. It's never a tool for that, never. I have personal, I haven't had a personal reading done for myself for quite a while, but when I've had it done, I've just let the energy go. And if those things have evolved and happened for me, which they have done a lot of the time, even if I read for myself, which I do, because I like to learn more about the cards, and you can't learn more about the cards unless you have some personal experience of this yourself, of reading for yourself. So a lot of tarot readers won't read for themselves because they say it's too, they're too subjective. But if you can completely be objective about something, you will see the true light of something here. But I never, if I've had a personal reading done, I've never lived by that reading. I've just said, thank you, and just got on with my day or my life. If it gives me advice in a certain area, my intuition was already telling me that, then I will take a direction or move forward in a particular direction because I know that my intuition is backed up by the reading. However, if I've no intuition on something and a tarot reader has said this, this or this, I will say thank you very much, carry on with my life and whatever evolves within that reading comes about, I'm like, wow, great or not so great. And that's the whole point. That's what I'm trying to say. So don't, please don't get it twisted when I say three stories that, you know, if I say one thing in one story, then, you know, and I say another thing in another story, that's the whole point of it. That's why I say there are three stories running through these love readings this year for the next six months. So very quickly, just getting back to the first story again, we're going to reiterate on this story. For some of you, I definitely see a lot of options this year. Definitely. Definitely. Okay, for some of you, it could be that with two to three suitors coming in, you decide you turn your back on all three because the world card means a new cycle and it means turning your back or leaving something behind. You're done and you're dusted with it. You're finished with it. You've learnt all you need to know about it and it's not for you. And with that Queen of Swords, it's backed up because the Queen of Swords, is like, and she turns her back as well on that world. So she's learned something from the world in terms of these three to two, two to three people in terms of this love triangle and for some of you guys it won't be for you for some of you guys if it's three people or even if it's two you might i feel that you're going to know who it is that you want to go for okay because you will have overcome some difficulty really in your own perception there might have been a lack of clear perception in this situation there are definitely i see two men speaking here if the king of pentacles is you taurus then I feel very much this situation is on your mind and it's very difficult for you. If the King of Pentacles is not you and it's somebody else, I see three men here. Three men. Three men, three women, sorry. Because kings can be male or female, especially in general readings. And you've definitely got three ideas that are affecting you. So there's three trains of thought that are affecting you. And also remember the world card is 21. 2 plus 1 is 3, so reduce that down to a 3, that's group activity. There's something to do with a group of people that you get involved with in the, between July and December 2016, Taurus. There are three different ideas about these people that might be affecting you. Two to three different ideas, or this is definitely a love triangle. And I feel that coming to a place of understanding about what's going on in this group, you're able to get to the heart of the matter. You're able to overcome with that six of wands because you actually have a good strategy to doing that. For some of you, you might be confronting a deceiver and it could be one of these two, king of cups, king of wands, because they seem to be having a chat about you for some reason. There's two guys that are chatting about you for some reason. And I feel that you actually get to the heart of the matter, find something out. 
because the Seven of Swords is about finding a solution around a very difficult problem. And it seems that the Six of Wands faces that card. But also because the Six of Wands faces the Seven of Swords, this could be confronting a liar or a deceiver. So whether this is three individuals that come into your life between July and December 2016, or whether it's two, either one to two of them will deceive. If it's three people, there'll be two that are not being completely upfront with you. They might be seeing this thing as a bit of a game, but one will be, I believe, more serious. If it's two people that come in, one might just simply be a friend. If there's only two people, then I believe that the King of Pentacles is you. And I feel that you are absolutely certain that you want to find the right person. But the King of Pentacles as an energy Taurus is somebody who is very, very grounded. And they know exactly what they want and they don't choose a partner that easily. They have to do a lot of the work. They have to find out as much as they can. So they will, you know, go out on dates with several people because they're looking for the one and that person's got to be really special. And I do feel that as the World card and the uh, Queen of Swords you will find that special person because you'll just know. You'll know. Whatever it is that you discover with the world card, you'll take forward with that Queen of Swords energy. We also have the Six of Pentacles here, showing, giving your attention to one person and not the other, and finding real happiness in that. It's almost like you make the right decision with who you need to go for. And we know that there is definitely, I feel, a new relationship coming in for you because we've got a page of cups here, and I feel that there is great development in this with the Empress. So you won't be short of uh, admirers, I believe, in the next six months, especially if you're single or just dating around. You will not be short of admirers, but it might come to the point where you have to kind of sort the wheat from the chaff. What's decent and what's not decent? Who's committed and who's just sort of playing around? Who's chatting you? Who's having a conversation about you? Who's saying, I can get to this person before you get to them? That type of thing. But you're not playing around with relationships, Taurus. It's good to see you're not playing around. You're deadly serious about what you want. And I just feel that anybody that you feel is not being deadly serious with you, you're going to just cut them out. You'll find one way or another to get rid of them. Because I don't feel that you'll be dealing in that energy. You're not interested in playing around. You want somebody who is committed and serious as you are. And you're looking to develop a relationship. The second uh, story that I'm seeing, um, very interesting. Uh, I feel that if you have been in a long-term relationship, um, I do feel that for some of you, there might be somebody who's involved with you who might be resistant to marriage or might be resistant to doing something in terms of, uh, you know, strengthening or... Uh, making your relationship far more committed because we have the seven of wands showing up here and we've also got the two of cups now if i were to read those two cards together i would look at fighting for which is what your seven of wands is it's a fighting card it's enduring but it's fighting against the elements so this is somebody who's saying no when you get this card it can mean no i don't want it no that's what this card can mean and then you get relationship. So for some of you, it could be somebody who is in your life who might be, in, over the next six months, who might be resistant to this relationship. And I feel that you'll be trying to understand this individual because we've got a Queen of Cups directly underneath that Seven of Wands. So it's going to take all your intuition and understanding and clarity of mind to kind of try and empathise maybe with this individual, okay? Uh, you know, I'm not saying that you're gonna walk away from the relationship, but it's more, I feel, on, along the lines of, okay, this person doesn't want to commit to something within the relationship, i.e. maybe they don't wanna, you know, commit to moving in with me, or maybe they don't wanna to commit to a marriage, or maybe they don't wanna to get to engage, uh, get engaged. But I feel for some of you, it, rather than walking away from it, I feel that it's for some reason you, Try and understand their point of view, if that makes any sense to you. Because we don't see any walking away cards, not at all in this reading. There's no, this is probably one of the better readings that I've seen for love of all the zodiac signs. I feel that there is more a, a, 
an understanding nature to this individual. This individual could be a fire sign, male or female, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For some of you, you'll be fighting for a relationship, okay? Because the um, Seven of Wands can mean fighting against or it can mean fighting for. And Two of Cups is always relationship, so, or fighting for love, fighting for a relationship or fighting. If it's fighting against, then it's somebody with you, okay, that's fighting against, you know, some form of proposal or marriage or, you know, you know strengthening this relationship. If it's you fighting for a relationship, then it's you kind of fighting to keep something together. But there does seem to be a new realisation that comes in, because we've got the Ace of Pentacles with that Queen of Cups. And it's almost through, almost through your intuition or your understanding, you're facing a new reality here. Okay, when you get the Ace of Pentacles, the Aces are all about new beginnings. And when you get the Pentacle, because it's based in realism and reality, it can be beginning off a new reality. And that's because of your own understanding on this situation. I feel for some of you guys it leads to real clarity, because we've got the Sun card here. And it could be that you have, and it's funny Taurus, because this is you. The Hierophant, that's actually your card. So that's you sitting there. And what, because that's you sitting there, this leads me to think that this is about your own values and what you want. Okay? So I feel that through clarity over this situation, yes, you might try and understand the situation and understand this person. But for some of you guys, even though we don't have a walking away card, um, you could walk away, maybe. It doesn't show me that you do, but there is the potential for that. I don't feel in the next six months, but maybe 2017, who knows? Because the Seven of Wands is somebody who might be fighting against a relationship because we've got the Two of Cups. You're going into understanding mode with that Queen of Cups. When you get the Queen of Cups, she's not at the point of the King of Cups just yet. She's more going inward. She's there's a lot of inner reflection going on. She's like a high priestess card, for example. Okay, she goes inward to find solutions. I feel from what it is that you start to understand about this individual and the state of your relationship, it brings you to a new realisation with the Eight of Pentacles. And you feel really good about it because things become far more clear to you. And I feel that with this card, the, the, uh, the, the uh, Hierophant, this is you guys standing in your own power and really understanding the values of who you are and what it is that you want in a relationship. This person fights against it. But what you want is a commitment. So either way that you look at it, okay, it doesn't show me a walking away card, but it certainly shows that your uh, sense of tradition and your sense of inward values is very much heightened in a relationship. And that if somebody doesn't really want what you want, then you have the power to actually make a decision whether you want to carry on or whether you want to kind of just break the relationship off. But I really feel that you're going to be standing in your power and you're not going to be afraid to make those important decisions, especially on someone who just doesn't want, who's saying no to you. You know, you might be in a relationship, but they might not want, you might be in a relationship for, say, I don't know, several years or a year or several months, and you might say to this person, you know what, we've been together for a long time, why don't we try and uh, make this relationship far more committed? And it could be, I feel, a case that for some of you guys, your partner might be saying, you know what, but why don't we just keep things the way they are? No, I don't really don't want to do that. I really, I'm fighting against it. And for you, whatever it is that you understand, or you come to the understanding of with the Queen of Cups, I feel that it opens up something completely new and tangible to you with the Eight of Pentacles, but it makes you feel free because the Sun card is freedom. Once you acknowledge his power, and once you have that knowledge, you're able to move forward in the correct direction for you. Now, this person who's saying no to you, they might be quite deceptive because we've got the Seven of Swords facing the Queen of Cups. Now, I'm not saying that they're deceptive, but I feel that you're trying to understand something about... There's a lack of trust here. I feel that your intuition will probably be telling you that there is a distrustful situation going on here. Because this person simply will not commit to a relationship. So I feel that your intuition will be telling you, you know what? I don't really trust this person because 
We've been together a long time. They seem to consistently be telling me no. When all I want to do is heighten what we have. But for some reason, they don't want to heighten our relationship. They don't want our relationship to grow. So therefore, my intuition is telling me because the Seven of Swords seems to face the Queen of Cups and the Queen, you're, no, you're not a water sign, so this must be your intuition, your guidance system talking to you. And because that Seven of Swords faces the Queen of Cups, I feel that your intuition tells you that this person is not being honest with you. And there's a new realisation that comes with that. Freedom and clarity come after. Because you've got values as the Hierophant. You have values. You also have a deep-rooted sense of inner guidance going on here. I feel that you come to an epiphany moment. For some of you guys, I do feel that if you have a partner that will not commit, there's an epiphany moment with you within the next six months in which you realise something here. You do realise something here. And therefore you say, you know, the power is in your hands. Do I carry on with this relationship or do I let it go? But you're at a pretty powerful stage in a relationship, especially with someone who's not going to commit to you. Because I feel that you realise, there's a, there's a realisation that somebody might not be honest. It could be that they're playing around because you've got the Ten of Cups and that Seven of Swords. Ten of Cups is directly above the Seven of Swords. And when you get that combination, sometimes that can mean that somebody's playing around in another relationship, for example. You may choose to confront this individual with that Six of Wands facing that Seven of Swords. But there is a new realisation that shows up here. Yeah, it could be you as well in this situation confronting a liar. Finally, you have what you were seeking with the Queen of Cups. Knowledge is power. And there's a new realisation. Clarity. Because you understand what the values are of your own, uh, of yourself, and potentially of what the relationship is. For some of you guys, you might be fighting against staying with someone and trying to understand what it is that you really want from a relationship. And if it's you that's doing the fighting, Taurus, I believe that you come to a realisation that actually I had what I wanted in a relationship around me all the time. Because we do have that sun card and it's the happiness card. And we also have the hierophant, which is based on commitments and tradition. For some of you, as I said, if somebody is fighting against relationship, it's not so much that they're a deceiver, but that is one scenario that they could be deceiving you, which is why they won't commit or get married or get engaged. But it could also be, Taurus, that you decide to, as I've said, compromise with this individual. Because the, the Queen of Cups is the card of compromise. All right, This is why she makes a good counsellor. She makes a good um, healer. Uh, she makes a good communicator at the best of times as well because she's able to put herself into somebody else's shoes. So if somebody is fighting against this relationship, seven of wands, two of cups, I do feel that it's through your own understanding of maybe what it, they want and looking at things from their point of view that with this ace of pentacles, it is the new realisation. To me, this is always the new realisation. It's not the moving on card as such. It can be, but not right now. It's more about you facing up to a new realisation that maybe, because you've got your own set of values, maybe you've thought, well, everybody else needs to follow those because it's the right thing to do. The hearing can be about the right thing to do. But maybe the sun is the wake-up call and the clarity that you need. And maybe the Ace of Pentacles, right above that uh, hearing card, says, you know what? Yes, I do have a certain way of seeing things. I do feel that, you know, we should be moving towards getting married, but we don't necessarily have to get married. Because the Ace of Pentacles says, well, I wake up to a new realisation that things don't have to be set in stone. That things can be looked at in a completely different way. So some of you will choose to compromise with their partner. It's not necessarily that they're cheating. For some of you, you will have the intuition that this person is cheating and you'll probably find out that they are. And it will probably wake you up to something. Though we don't have any necessarily bad cards. It could simply be that you're thinking that they're cheating.
Very interesting. And the third story that we have in this reading, final story, which is an interesting one, actually. Um, it is actually sort of not a part of the story that I've just done, but I feel that this mainly... Uh, This reading mainly pertains to people who are in relationships, though I see, obviously we've spoken about if you're single or if you're just dating around, I do see many, many options coming in. And you're going to be making a decision on one of those people because I feel that uh, if you're single, you're not playing around, you really do want a settled relationship. You're only dating and seeing what's out there because you're so, it's almost like Prince Charming and Cinderella. He had to meet many different women before he met her and she was the jewel in his crown. So it's, you know, it's, it's more about I'm dating around because I really want to make sure that I find the correct person. And a couple of people with you single uh, uh, Taurus people, I feel, won't be as serious as you are. But you will find the one that is very serious. And you'll overcome the barrier or the obstacle to finding true love. Because you've had a really good strategy with finding it, that Seven of Swords. Could be also that you confront... Maybe one of these two guys, King of Cups, King of Wands, you might have been playing a little bit of a deceptive game around you. But you do choose to give attention to one of them. One of the two or one of the three. It leads to a lot of happiness and the potential for a new relationship that definitely has potential for growth. For some of you, I'm seeing children, uh, pregnancy in your marriage or partnership uh, between in the next six months, if you don't already know that you're pregnant. Uh, for me... Even though the Queen of Cups isn't necessarily a card about pregnancy, this is a woman who's highly intuitive. And with that uh, Ace of Pentacles, I do feel that this is kind of a new dawn. It's like there's a gift, there's a blessing. There's something new and incredible that is opening up to you. It's the new eyes. It's the eyes that are opening up to a new uh, way of being. And it's interesting because we do have an Empress and the Sun together. And when you get the Empress and the Sun, these cards, usually you can have an Empress and the Ace of Cups, something, I think that represents something like Conception. But the, the Empress and the Sun are definitely cards that represent uh, birth, pregnancy, healthy pregnancy. And also we do have a page of Cups on the other side as well. So there's pregnancy going on here, I believe, for some of you guys. And for some of you, it will be that maybe... Um, Maybe your partner has been resistant to marriage, but I do feel that through this pregnancy that comes in, for some of you guys, that it will lead towards marriage with the Hierophant card, okay? Uh, because if we were to put the Two of Cups and the Hierophant together, this can definitely represent a marriage. And also, if I have a look downwards as well, uh, a relationship that you guys enter this year, it's really interesting. If I looked straight away down, we've got Two of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, the Hierophant. Well, Two of Cups is a relationship. Ace of Pentacles, long-term potential. And the Hierophant for marriage. So I do see marriage here as well for some of you guys, definitely. Yes, there will be some of you where a partner is resistant to this notion. And some of you will say, okay, I'm going to understand it from this person's point of view and we'll carry on as before. Some of you might think to yourself, okay, why doesn't this person want to commit? I'm going to find out. And I have a feeling that this person is not being honest. They're being distrustful. And it will give you a wake-up call. So you can either leave the relationship because you're setting your ways with that Hierophant card. Hierophant is the card of Taurus. And it gives you real clarity. And it is in that clarity that you decide to stand within your values. If your values are different from somebody else's values, Taurus, how can you move forward together? For some of you, you will go be the Queen of Cups and you will understand and empathise and put yourself in that person's shoes. And you'll just be able to go on and move forward in that relationship, even though the partner is reluctant to marry or make their relationship far more uh, permanent. Some of you guys, I'm seeing just a really happy scene here as well. Uh, yes, there is some pregnancy coming in. I do believe in the next six months for some of you guys. Okay. Um, 
I'm looking at the Six of Pentacles and that Ten of Cups together, and it just rem reminds me of a really sharing, lovely relationship between two people. It could also be where there are lots of children involved, and it's really happy. It's a really nice scene for some of you guys, especially if you've got children together or you've got stepchildren together and that type of thing. I believe that, yes, there will have been some obstacles, but I do believe that you're on your way to overcoming the obstacles, just through good strategy, good planning, looking at things outside of the box, making the right choices to overcome any obstacles. And I believe that there is real growth within relationships, especially if you're in a relationship, you're settled down, you're married, you've got kids, but you've got minor issues going on within the relationship. I do see that you're overcoming that in the next six months. So before I go, it's probably longer than 30 minutes, but let's just quickly go over the reading again just to see what I found for you guys. As I say, there are many stories running through, so follow it, okay? Because what I want you to do is go away from this reading and just get on with your life, okay? Until I get the next reading up, all right? I don't want you to go away thinking, oh, God, my relationship is gonna, it's not the way the tarot works at all, okay? Just live your life and, you know, whether I did a reading for you or not, if your relationship was gonna fall apart, it was gonna fall apart. It makes no difference whether I come onto YouTube and read for you or not. It's as simple as that. So don't get all in a flurry if anything comes up that worries you. But I do feel for some of you guys just to quickly go over this reading again so everybody gets it straight. If you're single, there are definitely options in the next six months. You are looking for a proper, grown-up, mature, relationship because if you this is you with the king of pentacles taurus this is what the king of pentacles often looks for he's looking for the world in a woman or a man okay this person is looking for the world they're looking for this everything in the person and they're looking to most of all to settle down and that's why they look around quite a bit because the king of pentacles doesn't just give himself to anyone he knows what his worth and his value is now I'm seeing two to three men. If you are not the king of pentacles, I am seeing an earth sign, male, female, a water sign, male, female, and a, a fire sign, male, female. I'm seeing that three ideas about these people will affect you quite deeply during the summertime. For some of you, might just be two people, king of cups, king of wands, but for some reason, they seem to be friends. For some reason, there's a conversation between two of them going on. So it could be that you're torn between two people that know each other, that it's a group thing, that you're in the same grouping, if that makes sense. So it could be that you work in the same building, that you go to the same college, that you have the same sort of friend uh, group, so you're in the same sort of social group, you circulate in the same sort of social group. But there's definitely more than one person here if you're single. Something you learn about this situation catapults you to make a decision on who it is that you want. And you invite a new relationship in with one of them. The Page of Cups, and it has the potential for growth, the Empress. You are definitely going to be giving your attention to one of these people, because we have the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles means to garner attention from many people. Okay, when you get a Six of Pentacles man, for example, there are many women after him. He's having to give his attention to several of them, but it shows that you give your attention to one of these people. And this is why it's the beginnings of a really lovely relationship. If you're single, for some of you guys, you might be confronting a deceiver in one of the group, but it doesn't matter because this just reinforces exactly what you're looking for. So either way you want to look at this reading, if you're single Taurus, it's a win-win situation for you, because you're not going to lose out. There's definitely, I believe, within the next six months, yes, several suitors, two to three suitors I'm seeing here, and one of them you're definitely going to be inviting in for a relationship, and they seem to be very, very interested in you. But be careful, because if it's three people, I feel two of them might be friends and they might be having a bit of a laugh at your expense, or there might be something that is not as committed as you would like, but there's one person shows up, showing up that is very committed. Okay, If it's two people around you, not the three because you're the king of pentacles, then this to me says 
that even though they might be in the same social circles as you, however that might be, whether it's online dating or literally in the same social circles, it might be a love triangle. And you'll need to make a decision because the world card, Kurt says, I've come to an understanding now of this situation and with the Queen of Swords, I'm going to make a decision on this. And you do decide to give to one of them because of the Six of Pentacles. So it's a very good reading if you're single or just dating. If you're in a relationship with someone, not necessarily married, but you're looking for a proposal of marriage and one of and the partner is resistant to you, Taurus, then it means that you're going to be going through a great time of self-reflection. Queen of Cups. Now you might come to the point where your intuition is telling you that this person is not being honest or there's some dishonesty in the relationship. And you seem to confront them over this with that Six of Wands. But I feel that whatever the turnout is of that, it leads you to a great new uh, self-realisation about this relationship. Therefore, there is clarity. And with the Hierophant, you're going to be standing in your truth and the truth of what your values are. Now, for some of you guys, it could mean that you walk away. Because if this person doesn't want, a propose, want to propose, they don't want to have a stronger relationship, a stronger commitment, and you want that stronger commitment as the Hierophant because you have a, a very kind of strong moral compass about these things, you're very much into how tradition is and what relationship should be, courting, engagement, marriage, and this person is kind of like, well, no, I don't want the relationship like that. I just want us to carry on as before. Yes, you might walk away. However, because we have the Queen of Cups here, it might be, well, I'll try and understand this person's point of view and we'll just go on as before because there are no leaving cards. But it doesn't mean that you don't leave because you, the power is with you. What does your moral guidance tell you with that Hierophant? Hierophant is all about doing the right thing. What is the right thing for you to do? Only you can know within this next six months. For some of you, I am seeing pregnancy, the Empress and the Sun, and potentially that Page of Cups. I am seeing an inner knowing that you're pregnant, a realisation of this with the Ace of Pentacles. It might be that your partner's not very happy about it. However, you might just do the right thing and make more of a commitment of the relationship because of this. Because it's the right thing to do. It depends on how strong your moral compass is. Not that it's wrong to be pregnant and not married it doesn't matter does it but just depends on where you're coming from some people want to be married if they get pregnant and some people don't really care which is fine but i'm seeing uh, the potential for pregnancy for some of you guys which potentially uh really does sort of kickstart this thing of getting married or you know making the relationship far more legal I'm also seeing that if you're in a loving relationship with someone, there will be the potential for marriage anyway, regardless of whether you get pregnant or not. Because we've got that Two of Cups there. And Two of Cups, relationship, long-term potential, Ace of Pentacle, leads to marriage stroke commitment and happiness with the Sun card. So there's many things that I'm seeing in here. And if you're just plain married... I do feel that there are some obstacles maybe that you need to overcome, but I see some of you have children and, uh, you know, it could have been difficult, maybe money wise, maybe uh, living conditions wise, that type of thing. But I do see real happiness in some of your relationships, six of pentacles, ten of cups. And I see that if there are any obstacles with that seven of swords, you're moving towards a solution. And there seems to be lots of happiness with children and parenting. Lots of nurturing, kindness, just good times. So I am seeing really happy relationships, especially if you're in a settled relationship with a partner and children as well. That is your reading, Taurus. Yes, I think, how long does it take? Took 49 minutes. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks for your time, Taurus. And I will see you on your life spread reading. Really, really good reading. So make sure you check in. We're looking at five areas of your life within that reading. And then it's going to be your July reading. I'm working against the clock on all the personals 
and all of the readings for YouTube, but I'm determined to get everything up in time. Okay, I'll speak to you guys later. Take care.